it's Wolfie Chun, and I'm back with another anime review. And this one is an anime from Netflix. This has six episodes. I've watched it all. I fell in love with it. This is Neo Yokio, and boy howdy, does this have like not your conventional voice actors. I believe actually the main voice of our main character is um, Jaden Smith. I actually think so. I saw something that I believe that was the main actor for it. And it does sound like him. It does. And it's really funny. Um, we have Jude Law as the comical robot. There is a robot in this. And he is a butler robot. So what is this about? So this kind of starts in... It says Neo Yokio, but it's basically New York. And it is... Basically, I believe it's like around our time a little bit, but um, where Manhattan and stuff is, is under the water. But people are still living under the water. They're not mermaids or anything. Like, their houses are encapsulated in, in air bubbles so that they basically, it's, it's okay. Like, you're living there and you take a bubble in into that and then you take a bubble out. Um... But this starts off with our main character, who I can't remember his name, but he's purple hair. And I'll start off with the uh, history of him and his actual purple hair, because it's a legit thing. So what happened was, was there was demons. I said was too many times in that sentence. There are demons in this town. And there are mages and... Mages, witches, and people who are magic folk. <coughs> One sec. Do this for a moment. Yeah, that's not going to help me any. <laughs> Alright, so there are magic folk. I couldn't get past the magic folk. And you'll see in a minute. That basically... Mig or not migrated. They immigrated. Took me a minute. They immigrated from all parts of the world to eradicate the demons. Which... Their original purpose were just to kill rats. They were rat killers. <clears throat> and that's like a really big thing now. Even though he's rich and everything. He's one of the rich kind of people. Like, as an off comma, other rich people are like, Whatever, rat catcher. And he gets so mad about that. Because that's the side of the history that they want to forget. So, they immigrated into Neo, Neo, uh, Neo Yokio. Uh, I know the name, Yokio. So they immigrated there to take care of the demons, and since then, their ancestors, this kid, have been prolific, very rich, very aristocratic, very important people in the world today because they immigrated to help kill the demons. Apparently, there are still demons. Who'd have thunk? So let's now get to know our main character, this purple hair guy in the middle. Alright, he, first episode, very upset. He lost his girlfriend, she moved, she's dating someone else, he can't handle it. He's also sitting next to a tennis court on top of the highest building, I believe. And there's a rigorous game of tennis? You get no context from this. But all of a sudden, one of the girls doesn't hit it back, gets angry, instantly breaks a racket. Just, 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 ah, and it breaks. <laughs> oh my God. I don't get it. I love, I love that part. There is no context, or if this is a rivalry, this also happens, like, I believe three episodes later, three or four episodes later, and she does it again, and I'm like, what is, I hope you have enough money for more rackets. Ah. Uh. So he's moping, and his robot butler is like, Don't worry. Well, you might. You are second on the bachelor board. That's a big thing there. There's a literal board in, like, Main Square or somewhere like that that has all the bachelors in ranking from, I believe, 1 to 5 or 1 to 10. And, like, there's an automatic internet list of if you go down to, like, 20 and stuff like that. Um, but number one is... Angelero, Angelero, his name is Whack, and he's number one, and the whole thing about episode one 
is that like there is a I believe it's called floor hockey. Oh god. It's a floor hockey game and basically let me tell you this. They use canes instead of hockey pucks. Well they use hockey pucks. But they use like legit canes with like the candy cane shape to hit it. And it's a big sport among the rich. And he's actually like one of the top competitors in this. And like if he doesn't go on on Jalogo. Like his name is really weird. And when they when he says it, I'm like, dude, his name. Um but he is like, I can't go, I'm depressed. And he throws this like million dollar watch because the girl he liked bought it for him. And it gets of course it gets crushed. And he's like, You shouldn't have done that. There were only five left in the world. Now there's four. Robot butler to him. It, it was just sentimental garbage. His aunt calls up, which ah. Uh, I can't remember the voice actor or the actual actress that's the aunt, but I love her voice. Um, I can't remember a good movie that she's been in. She's been in a lot of movies. Good movies. Ah. But the aunt calls up is like, you need to make some money or you're going to be out of your penthouse. You're going to be out of everything. He is like, fine. I'm depressed though. Goes and one of the top fashion bloggers is funny enough um is possessed we find out that it's her Chanel suit is possessed and after that she becomes mental and is like anti-establishment anti all this stuff and that does after like many episodes become annoying but also is like a major thing of hers is like I think you're still possessed. No, I just don't care about fashion or people. It's worthless and not worth anything. Oh, you can't say that. I love fashion. Oh, and like another really big gag in this is he like, I brought a huge Toblerone. And it legit is like he's carrying this huge Toblerone, which Toblerones are like this tidy. Don't know why in the future like a big Toblerone is a thing. Okay, so what I'm going to get to is this. He does do the exorcism. He does fight this. That, my friends, is a Sailor Moon reference. This thing references so many different anime, so many different plot points of anime. Uh, this kid's whole thing is like Big Hero 6. He rides his butler like um, Hitoshi. I don't believe that's his name. But like the guy off of Big Hero 6. That's what he does. And there's so many references to pop culture. And like these guys are like the rich. Like, yo, what's up, Holmes? What you gonna do now? Like, they are the rich ones. It's hilarious. Um, I think the best reference that I love is in, uh, like, I think the fifth episode. Where Rama one half is referenced to a T. Uh, the bigger guy turns into a girl. The other guy who's actually wearing double glasses, I believe, because he wears glasses naturally. He is the panda. He's like afterwards, he's like, I miss being a panda man. Like, I was so cute and adorable. I'm not a panda anymore. And like the whole thing is like, well, it's my water magic. You find out also that this raccoon was the uncle and stuff. They're really funny and interesting. Uh, but there are so many references. There's like a Speed Racer reference. So I really, like, whoever did this, one was very much American. I think they got the animation from Japan. But this is like an American story. A lot of American things because they reference like Brooklyn and Queens and stuff like that. Which I will admit, a lot of animes don't reference like a lot of the towns in New York. They're just like, let's uh, go to the Bronx. Like, and that's what they do. They reference, like, the Bronx or stuff a lot. So a lot of things that are really famous, um, they reference. But this one is just, it's a lot of gags. And yeah, it's really wacky. It's, this anime doesn't really take itself seriously at all. If you want, like, a serious anime that you'll, like, love and enjoy, 
I would I would skip over this one, but because I loved XL Saga, I love wacky anime. I love gags that like I don't understand, and then I'm like hooked because I want to keep watching it and figure it out. This is basically that. It's got a huge cast of great actresses and actors that voice all these characters. I like want to legit try and make a caprese. Uh, martini because that's a huge thing um they make like a little micro pub and everything for this and they're like so there's only like really like two seats in this bar and i occupy one so we can only have one other customer at any given time and he walks in they kick out a guy and they're like how do you make money eh, we do eh. i'm just like okay i believe that you're selling off the side or something because meh um, but that's also a big thing. He's really into fashion. And this actual scene, he's going to this uh, big gala. And it's a black and white ball. Which, funny enough, you like can't... He's wearing a midnight one and his whole thing is like, you have to wear out a tux for a week. Because it has not been out. It hasn't been aired out. And na, 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 na. It's really funny. And then all of a sudden there's like this sparkle of blue. And it's like, what is it? Nothing. Nothing. How are you doing, guys? And then, I think it's Mark Angelo. I think. Oh, I can't remember his name. Uh, but he comes up and is like, Midnight Blue. That's not black. And he flips his lid. He's like, this isn't black? Yeah! Goes to his favorite, like, dress place. Or, um, uh, suit store that sells clothes and stuff at really high price and stuff. And there's like an off comment when they're in uh, the dressing room that it's like, I wish you could live here too. And Mark Angel's like, me too. It's nice here. And he's like, what'd you say? Nothing. <clears throat> like it's, it's a wacky and amazing anime. And I would really, anybody who just like wacky hijinks and a lot of references that Truthfully, you'll get, I promise, a lot of the stuff you'll get, it's it's just awesome. Definitely, definitely try this one out. Is It, it is on Netflix, so if you don't have Netflix, I'm sorry. But this is really good. I definitely would recommend this one if you like wacky things. So, if you like this video, definitely leave a like. Leave it in the comment section below. What do you think of Neo Yokio? And what are your thoughts and feelings about that? I read, love them. And definitely don't forget, if you haven't already, to subscribe. Because I do upload every day from Sunday to Saturday, Monday to Sunday. Whenever you need a video, I got you covered. Also, if you want to follow me on Facebook or Twitter, I have the links down below. And also, I'm starting to stream on Twitch, so if you like video games and you, you like what you see definitely come by I do it randomly so and I hope that you've been having a very wonderful wonderful night we'll feature on Alex bye <laughs>